the construction of these uh, isometric uh, blocks uh, with uh, this uh, cylinder and this uh, dustbin with this isometric uh, circle and isometric square that we have here were done uh, by me uh, using uh, isometric drafting, which is one of the tools that we use in AutoCAD uh, to uh, uh, to construct our uh, objects. Um, uh, let me show you uh, so uh, isometric drafting tool. Uh, this is where we have it. So this is it. And if you don't have it here uh, in the status bar, uh, you can come to customization and uh, you look for it. This is isometric drafting. So uh, you need to activate it, though it's already activated here uh, on my own uh, uh, page. Okay, um, so if I click, so I can, so I've deactivated it. Okay, so it's no more here on the status bar. But if I want to activate it, all I need to do is to come to the customization and uh, activate it. So it's uh, now activated here on the status bar. Okay. Um, and when it comes to uh, using this uh, isometric uh, drafting to make uh, isometric uh, object as we have here, um, so there are three. Uh, uh, there are three uh, things that you can do here. I mean, uh, switching uh, from uh, one to another. So we can uh, switch uh, to the isometric plane left. So isometric uh, plane top or isoplane left, isoplane top and isoplane right. So you can switch to any of them. Um, so uh, for you to be able to make use of this tool, you must have uh, been uh, well grounded in technical drawing. That means in the use of manual method to construct isometric objects. Okay. Um, what I'm going to uh, do here, I'm not going to uh, uh, teach beginners on how to construct uh, uh, or how to use uh, AutoCAD, okay? So, but I'm going to make my work here uh, a practical work. So by using this uh, uh, AutoCAD to solve problems uh, that have to do with uh, technical drawing, okay? Um, but I'm making use of this ISO, isometric uh, drafting so to construct object like this, and later we we'll move on to solve other problems using AutoCAD. Okay, so uh, let's start and do some simple uh, work. Okay, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do here is to construct isometric square using these three uh, three uh, three modes in uh, that mean isoplane uh, left, isoplane top, and isoplane right. So let's see how that can be done. So first of all, start with that of uh, construction of uh, a square, isometric square. Okay, so let's start. So I have the it, I have it now in isoplane top. So let's see how that square will look, okay? All right, so I need to bring this to this side. We have a space here. So I'm going to change color so I, have this, uh, let me make use of this blue color, okay? So to start my drawing. So what I need to do now is to click on line. Then uh, I'm going to make a square uh, whose length is uh, 50 millimeters. So um, so just need to click. So you just click as we are asked to specify the first uh, point and make sure you have your auto mode. So this is auto mode here. So make sure you have it on. So uh, so I will just uh, give the length. So I need to give the length of 60 uh, millimeters. So this is 60 millimeters. Okay, I'm using 60, okay, 60 millimeters and click on and 
uh, uh, just press enter on your keyboard, okay? Then this is also 60, we are making a square 60 millimeters. Then we turn to this side, so we also have 60 millimeters. Then uh, we turn to this side, okay? So we also have 60 millimeters, so on the keyboard. So press enter, so we can, uh, then you press escape on the keyboard, so to uh, remove, um, uh, to deactivate that, uh, um, to deactivate the line, okay? So we have the square now. So here we have the square. So this is a square of length 60 millimeters. So we use uh, ISO plane top, ISO plane top. So that is what we use here. So let's see the next one. So let's switch now to isoplane right, isoplane right, and let's see how that square will look. So we uh, need to, let me change the color. So let's make use of a uh, red color. Let's make use of red color. So we click on line. So then uh, we uh, just uh, click on the, so, here we have what here we have. So let's go like this. So here we have what we have 60, maybe 60. So this is 60. Okay. So then so let's bring it down. So we also have 60. So you press enter. So this is another 60, 60. So we press enter. So then so 60 again. So press enter. So this is a square. So we use what we use. This is the right. So I plain right. So we have this square. So then let's now turn to I plain uh, left. I plain left. So we switch to it. Then let's change the color. So the color now. Let's make the color. Let's make it green. Okay. So then so we click on line. So then, so specify the first point. So uh, so let's say this is the first point. So we go in this direction. So 60 millimeters, 60. Um, so press enter then. So another 60. So press enter. So another uh, 60. So under 60, so press enter, then, so under 60, press enter, then we have 60, press enter, okay? Um, I think I need to redo this. So under 60, enter okay so uh press escape or you right click and uh you just uh click on enter okay this is not okay so i need to um stretch it okay so i can so enter uh, 60 all right so Okay, so I need to redo this. What you undo? All right, so let's take it again. So here we have what we have sixty, then sixty, then we have sixty again. Then the last one is this. So sixty. So I need to undo this.
So six G. Then we have six G. Then we have six G. All right, so that is it. So we right click and we click on enter. So these are the square or the squares. So we use the three modes of ISO uh, metric drafting. So we make use of the ISO plane top. So that gives us this. So we make use of ISO plane right. That gives us this square. And ISO plane left. That gives us this square. Okay, so... um. So what I want us to do now, so let's transform this square. Let's transform them to uh, uh, to a cube. So or uh, um, an isometric block, an isometric block. So isometric block, let's make it, uh, make each of them a cube. So let's make each of them a cube. So what we need to do now is that we are going to uh, draw a line on each of these points. So a vertical line on each of these points, that is what we are going to do. So what I'm going to do here, I need to, I want to bring it to this side for this one, I want to bring it to this side so that I can have enough space to do it. So what I'm going to do now is to, uh, is to uh, move it to this side. So I'm going to, um, I'm, I'm going to type move on the keyboard. So then you enter. So then you need to select this object. So I select like this, then right click, then move it. So just move it from here. So there is it. Okay, so I want to, so I want to see it clearly. All right, so what we are going to do now is to uh, make uh, a, a line, a vertical line on each of these points of length 60. So that is what we are going to do. So to draw the vertical line, I will uh, deactivate our uh, isometric drafting. So I will deactivate it. So, and then you make sure you have the auto mode on. So um, then I need to change the color. So to blue, okay. So I will click on uh, line, then coming to this point. So I will make a vertical line. So this is 6G. So this is 6G. So then, so then right click and uh, repeat line. So click on repeat line. So you come to this point and you draw a vertical line. So this is 6G. Then again, so repeat, so come to this point. So this is 16. Then, so repeat it, so come to this point, and need 16. All right, so we have all this. So what we are going to do now, okay? So the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to make a square to be on this space so that we can complete it and it will be a cube. So we click a line. So then, so we come to this point. So we have to make the ISO drafting. So isometric drafting, we need to activate it now. So I escape, okay. So we make it on now. So then we switch to the top. So this is the top. So click on, uh, line then so we come to this point okay then this point then this point and then this point so escape all right so we have the cube now but this uh an isometric object uh remember that when you draw it manually so some lines are not supposed to show some lines are not supposed to so this line we need to remove it we also need to remove this line. I will remove this line. So we come to this modified tool, so which is trim. So just click on trim, then uh, press enter. Okay. So to remove this, so we remove this. Okay. Then we remove this. So we have the cube like this. So this is the cube. Okay. So uh, let's repeat it on the other ones. So just uh, escape, click on escape. 
or press escape on your on your keyboard so uh let's do it for this particular one so you know we created this using what well, using uh iso plane uh right so let's change the color to red so this is red so then uh we also need to switch to iso plane right so then we click online so this point so i want to go in this uh direction okay so it has to uh okay so i need to escape so i need to put off the iso plane uh so we okay um so click on this all right so i need to leave, make the isoplane so i need to make it on so isoplane uh right so we make it on so here we click on this um okay so if you look at what you want to do is as if you want to uh make it to be on the uh on the uh top so we want to make the lines to be on the top line so i need to switch to the top i need to switch to the top as we have here so isoplane top so the line that i want to draw draw it's going in this direction and this direction what i mean is this so if i click on line so the line is going in this direction there is it so um so i'll make it uh 60 Okay, so press enter. Okay, so then, then we repeat. So just right click and click on repeat line. So coming to this point, so we press N60. So this is 60. So then, so right click and click on enter. So then right click again. So repeat line. So click on this point. So here we have what we have 60 again. So this is 60. So right click and enter so then right click again repeat line so that's then um so uh enter 60 so this is 60 and press enter okay so we have these uh lines so let me move this particular okay all right so let me move this particular one um okay i need to just let me remove this so erase so i will uh, reconstruct it so what i need to do now is that so for me to create a square on this face so that we can make it a cube so i need to switch to so isoplane right so then i will come here click on the line so coming to this point so and then this point so this point, so this point, and then this point. So we have the cube, but we need to remove some lines. So we need to remove this line, this line, and this line. So what you need to do is to come to modify to and click on trim. So then, so press enter. So press enter. So enter. So uh, remove this. So we remove this and then remove this. So we have a cube. So this is an asymmetric cube. And okay, so uh this is being done on the um on the 2D uh 2D of uh, uh I saw uh, of uh, AutoCAD. So they are not what well, they are not uh 3D objects. These are not 3D objects, though they look like they look like uh three-dimensional objects. Okay, so let's uh, go back to that of the left uh, plane that we did, okay? All right, so we make it green as it was a green uh, object, okay? So we switch now, so I need to escape this first. So we need to switch to isoplane left. Then we have this, so we need to draw the square first so we have the square so we enter 60 okay then so you have, have 60 okay then so there is 60 then um so 60 all right so right click and we 
press enter. So here we have what we have the square. So now, so uh, we need to switch to isoplane top, okay? So then click online to so come to this point. So here we have 16, okay? So then, so we right click and we enter. So then right click again, so repeat line. So click on this, so 16. Okay, right click, so click on enter, right click, right click again, so repeat line. So at this point, so then here we have what we have 60 again. Okay, so right click, so enter, right click again, repeat line, so put it at this point, and then here we have what we have 60. So don't forget that we are using isoplane top, so to draw these lines, so draw that because this are top part of the object, so right click and click on enter. So with what we have here now, so we now need to switch to isoplane left. So isoplane left is it. So then we click on line. Okay. So then, so here we have this. So coming to this point, click. So this point, click. Come to this point, click. And come to this point, click. So right click and enter. So we have what we have the cube, but we need to remove some lines. We are going to remove this line, this line, and this line. So then come to modify it. So, so click on um on trim, then so press enter. Okay, so remove this. So remove this. And then we remove this. So we have this cube. So um, so we have these three objects. So as you can see here, so uh, to deactivate the trim, so just uh, press enter on the keyboard. So we have these three uh, cube, we have these three cube, okay? So we have used isometric drafting, so switching to this three mode, so isoplane top, isoplane right, and isoplane left to draw this cube. So um, this is the beginning. So the next one that we are going to do, we are going to uh, construct an isometric circle. So let's meet on that. Thank you and God bless you.